Hey everyone, Crystal Kitsune here, and welcome to the brand new, I guess, layout of the recording box window thing. Um, the last video that I did was actually with this kind of format. Um, a friend of mine was so generous enough to make me a new um, version of my mascot, so with her permission, I went and made a whole new banner uh, for the channel, and then I made, you know, this as my uh, recording backdrop as well, so it's something new for the new year. Um, she did a great job, and I credited her uh, username and her deviant art account on the banner itself, so if you want to check out her art, go to her deviant art, and she does commissions too, so um, if you're willing on paying for her awesome art, she does take commissions, so check her out if you're interested in some art. But I am big today <laughs> for two reasons. Um, one, because uh, I was requested Uh, box. Um, this is the um, Zelda version of the Nintendo thing that I got last time, and um, so some one of the fans that subscribes to the channel uh, wanted me to get this this one, so I went ahead and got this one. Uh, the other one was the question block, but if if it's there next time I get paid, I'll go ahead and get that one just because just to even even it out. Um, but I mean these guys were still there so I'm guessing nobody else wants them. <laughs> um, also uh, I, me and my friend went out today and we went to that Daiso sh store in Natomas, uh again uh, so I got like a bag full of stuff from the Daiso that I'll go through my Daiso haul number two and don't worry about my hair it's a mess I know like I had it pinned up and then I just pulled it out not thinking that it was a mess until I turned the camera on and I'm like oh shit I look like like I haven't combed my hair in a couple days but I did I washed it yesterday and I combed it today but then I guess it was still damp from when I wet it earlier so it's was pinned up in a bun but anyway I have a special guest come here come here you're fine just come here I got the little baby. Here's baby. Here's him in all of his feather glory. He's a big boy now. So he's been sitting out here with me during the day with food and, and water and everything. He's all like entranced in the camera. Ooh, what is that? What is that, huh? Look at that cute little face. Look at that cute little face. Yeah, you scared, huh? You weren't scared earlier. No. Okay, well he'll sit here, I guess, or somewhere. <laughs> He'll probably go back here in my hair, because he likes to go back there, okay? Good? Alright. So let's start with the Legend of Zelda box that I got. Um, also remember the Culture Fly. Um, so here's the inside of the box. There goes the Culture Fly thing. Um, but here is the inside of the box so far. You haven't seen what's all inside yet. The chair back here. <laughs> he just fell back behind me. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and start with that. Um, let's pull out some stuff. Uh, so first thing is this, which is a Triforce. Um, it's a plushie, so it's like soft and squishy. Uh, now, I actually haven't really played a lot of Legend of Zelda, to be honest. Um, I do did own the, like the original like the uh, NES version of of Legend of Zelda, but I didn't play it that much. Um, I had Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages for Game Boy Color, and then later I got it for my uh, DS. But um, my DS is broke, so I can't play that even anymore. But I do know the uh, story, you know, Legend of Zelda. I, I mean, I know the background to it. Um, then we got this thing here, which is this cute little chest. Um, it says Legend of Zelda on it. And you open it up with a little switch, little thingy here. And there's the box. I love little boxes like this. They're just so adorable and it's a bank. 
so you can put your money in it. And it's a little crooked, um, so that's kind of a disappointment, but I guess it could be fixed. Yeah, it can be fixed. Like, you just need to fix the uh, hinges on the back of it. No problem, if you really cared about it, I guess. But that's the box, the little chest. Um, put that aside for now. You're fine. Um, then we got uh, some other things. So here is um, a shield sticker icon thingy. Not quite sure what this is. Hmm. Decals in the court sort. I don't remember seeing that on the box though. What do we do with the box? Oh, it's a di decal. Hmm. Okay. Although I thought I said something about iron on patches, but I guess that was a different one or something. But here is a decal. It's a sh shield decal. Um, maybe the iron on patches was the other box. Yeah, I think so. And here is a small journal. Um, it's got the, the symbol on it. So let's open this one up. See what it looks like inside. When I did the Nintendo um, one, the uh, Nintendo had graph paper in it, so that you could do your little things. And if you look, it's got like harps and ocarinas on the band here. So you open it up with the button without breaking it off, and then it starts off with just the thing and and the thing. And uh, then you got this nice little script, and it's blank, so you could draw on it even if you wanted to, I guess. And it's like faux, like kind of like suede almost. So that's pretty cute. So there's the little journal, and then we have. But let me see what it says on the other side. A two-sided coin. The other one had Nintendo logo and then something else. <clears throat> and the baby's here on the table eating leftover bird seed from that was chopped onto it. This thing was hard to get the fuck out of. It has the logo on the back the front or whatever. I don't know which one's front, which one's the back, but whichever. That's the symbol. So there's that. Uh, we also got this big ass box in here. So let's see what this is. I already know, but you don't know. <laughs> it is a glass that's got the shield and the sword on it. So it's a pretty nice hefty glass. Nice thick bottom. So the last thing is the, the mystery thing that they have for all these boxes. Um, and the mystery thing in this box is a rupee wallet vinyl. So I can't really see because of the glare, but I'm going to take it out of the box so you'll see it here in a minute. They give you like an outline of the uh, product. So if you know like the the, fa 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 the uh, fandom well enough, it's it's going to not be that much of a, <laughs> of a surprise. So it's just a, like a wallet. With the, ch the logo on it with rupees coming out of it. <laughs> Although, when I looked at the shadow on the box, it kind of almost looked like it was a, um, like a squid or something. It looks kind of funny. So, put that back in here. Shove this back inside. So, that's all of the Legend of Zelda box. Um, kind of a little less exciting. We didn't get like a backpack or anything. The, the, the only really good thing in this particular box, I think, 
Um, and the journal is pretty cute, but I like the drinking glass. The drinking glass is always good because you can always use glasses um, for stuff. And if you have like fa friends that are fans of Legend of Zelda, then you could be all like, like, nonchalantly putting it out or drinking from it, and then they'll like, "Hey, where'd you get that?" And then they go, "I got it from this box." Um, this one's a little less um, dramatic as the last one. I mean, I'm using the backpack that I got as a purse now, so I like that one so far better. Um, but if you guys want to see the other one, the uh, question block, if it's still there, I'll get it. If it's by request. Actually, out, out and out says, hey, get get the question block. Um, so anyway, back to, not back to, but um, to the Daiso. So if you don't know what a Daiso is, it's essentially like a dollar store. I forgot to put this one back. <laughs> I'll stick it right there. Um, the Daiso is kind of like a dollar store. I just just, just said that. Um, but it's Japanese stuff. Um, I've been there before, and I actually did a Daiso haul. I'm kind of like bringing the table forward. Um, I've been to it before. Uh, I was actually looking for something else, but I found this on like Yelp or whatever, and it had some really good reviews, so me and my friend went, and that was like last year sometime. Um, but I got a bunch of stuff this time, um, and one of the first things that I got was this. I thought it was really cute, even though I don't need it for what it's intended for. Um, this is a bento box. And if you don't know what a bento box is, it's essentially what people would take lunch in. Uh, they would put like rice and other things um, in the box and cover it up and then wrap it up in a napkin and take it to school or work or whatever. Um, I just like the design that was on the front of it and I can use it for something else. Like it's got a nice deep uh, area in it so I could put um, something, I'm sure. In it. It's nice, kind of sturdy plastic, so shouldn't break too easy. I also got a bunch of food, so I'll be eating that here in a second. Um, I also got this. <coughs> it is silicone, but it is star shaped um, for ice cubes. And I thought it was so cute. Like, who wouldn't want star shaped ice cubes, right? So I was like, I want this. And I bought it. <laughs> So but I think what I'll do is like I'll put like not water in this but like something that I could put in not soda but I don't know something that I can flavor like tea or something with and then like if I make iced tea then I can have flavored tea or something I don't know but I just liked it because it was stars and I like stars. Um, I also got this really super super soft face towel. Um, it's got a creepy panda on it but um, it's like super soft. It's like like it's microfiber but it's super um soft I mean I buy <coughs> some of the weirdest shit and they have weird shit there at the store um but it's probably pretty really big um I didn't actually open it up but I'm guessing it's probably pretty big Let's open it up here so here, without the thingies holding it back, yeah. here is the face towel. And I'm like covering up my light and stuff. But it's like super, super soft. And it's kind of almost like a blanket, actually. It's got more of like a blanket quality than a towel quality. Because like when you have the towel, you have like the, the towel material. This is kind of almost like a blanket. It's like, it's so soft. <laughs> um, I got three pairs of socks. Now I love like fluffy socks. It's just like my weakness. Um, and I got three pairs. So I got these, which are they're they're called room socks, but they're um, like the same kind of socks that you get from the 99 cent store. But I got the lep leopard soft ones. I got these ones here, which are pink, and they have like little star pads on the bottom of them, and, and they're polka dots. 
or stars. No, they're stars. They're, they look like they're polka dots, but they're supposed to be stars. And then these ones, which are striped, which are also super cute. Pink and, like, purple striped. Pink, purple, cream. Yeah. They're really soft. I love fluffy socks. Um, and I think everything else is food. Let me pull it up here so I don't have to, like, bend over to get everything. So I got this. Oh, I got these, which are headphones, but I wanted headphones anyway, so. <laughs> I needed some new, um, earbuds because the other ones that I have don't work quite right, actually. Um, something else. I got another thing of Ramune. See if we can actually open it this time. Because last time I couldn't open it properly. Um, I also got some more um, of these, the Hello Panda strawberry cookies. But I've had those before and you've seen them before, so nothing new there. Um, I got these things here. They're called Bing Bings. They're by Happy, which makes, um, uh, fortune cookies. Um, but they're cone snack with strawberry flavor. But it looks kind of like air, like, like the stuff that they made those, those ice creams at. They're like freeze dried. Freeze dried ice cream, but then when you like put your tongue to it, then it tastes like, it's supposed to taste like ice cream or something. Like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like they, what they use for like, like, um, space food. Which I think that's exactly what it is. It's like freeze dried or whatever. But this is what it looks like once you get it out of the box or the package. So when you put it, bite into it, it's all airy and creamy. And the more you chew it, the more creamier it gets. Can't really see how like trying to show you like see it's got like bubbles in it so it's like aerated kind of like a uh, like air chocolate but it's like air strawberry shit <laughs> so if you don't know what ramune is it is a special drink special where you use um the thing to push uh the thing through. Uh, there's a marble inside that you're supposed to push uh, out. Damn it! Hang on, I dropped my thingy to push it out. And you're supposed to push it down into your. I had a hard time trying to do this last time, I remember. Give me one moment. Okay, so now that I got it open, I had to go away from the computer to do this. In hindsight, I should have opened this before I started, but I forgot. <laughs> um, but here is the strawberry one, and the more you can see the marble that's in there, it's rolling around now. It doesn't actually really taste like strawberry. It's like a weird flavor of strawberry. I oh, know, it's a weird flavor. Like strawberry for me is like usually a little bit more artificial than that or something. I don't know. Um, okay, so here is something different. It's called Pocky Squeeze. Um not quite sure why they call it that um but it's supposed to be mango flavor now i've never actually had mango flavored pocky they're short shorter than regular pocky um let's shove this back in the box um let's shove this one back in the box oh it's over there on the side okay um 
but I'm not really like into f mango flavored things. So here like is a uh, stick. It's covered in orange cream, but it's not orange, it's mango. You can smell it. Hmm. Kind of weird. Hmm. Not bad. It'll probably be kind of like how me. For me, it's like the matcha ones. To me, tasted weird. And matcha is green tea. Um, but they kind of like grew on you, so here is some uh grape gummies, puru mochi. I show the on the thing little squares of gelatin, and they're individually wrapped. The, the great thing about like Japanese candies and stuff is that it doesn't seem to matter what you get. They all, except for like chips and things, but mostly like the candies and stuff. Like you get a bag, um, of something, and when you open it, it's usually not just loose in there. It's usually in another packaging, so it's like good for keeping it um, from going stale. So here is the little jelly. Simply, uh, simply grape flavor. I got the cute little guy on the front. I wish I could read that though. I used to remember know some of the symbols, and it looks like he's just talking in regular hiragana. But I can't read it anymore. <sighs> okay, then we got these things here, which are called creamy chocolate strawberry. Uh, it's like creamy chocolate strawberry and then down here it says creamy strawberry chocolate so like they don't know which one to go with I guess um, and they are like dusted with cocoa powder it looks like so that's cool and again individually wrapped because they don't put them in dishes or anything to get stale they like their stuff to stay pretty fresh, even if you just have one at a time. Because I think they 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 like Japanese people. Like it takes them a while to eat stuff because they're not pigs like us Americans. So if they open something like bag of potato chips or or a bag of candy, like if it's open, then it's gonna end up going stale because we devour stuff a lot faster in larger quantities so the Japanese don't need to do that so here is the little can little strawberry thing not bad okay so the last thing I got is a weird flavor of potato chips and these are honey butter potato chips. Honey and butter. It seems like a weird combination. Like, I mean, I guess you could use honey and butter for cooking, but not for a potato chip. You can even get the damn thing open. There we go. So here. Looks just like a regular like Lay's potato chip. It looks like it's got a little bit of green stuff on it. They're slightly sweet. They're salty. I really don't taste honey or butter 
Actually, I take that back. I taste the butter, but it kind of makes it taste like a baked potato. If you just put um, butter on it and nothing else. Not bad. These are actually really good. Again, like something you don't like expect as a flavor. <laughs> so anyway, baby has been good and sat on this table the whole time. Say hello. Look at the cute little face. Look at the cute little face. Now that's a cute little bird. Very calm. And just will sit there for days. Probably end up falling asleep too <laughs> if I let him. Um, and he has. Like if I just hold him in my hand. Like like this. He'll just sit there. And then eventually he'll just fall asleep. Huh. Don't you? He's a really chill and laid back bird. I'm hoping that he ingrained a little bit on me so he trusts me and doesn't flinch or back away or lets me get away with a lot of things that the other ones don't. But anyway, that is my uh, unboxing and Daiso haul. Um, sorry that the, I don't know, had to pause the video <laughs> to go open this thing. Um, but again, check out my friend, her deviant art, um, if you want to get some art made and pay for it because she doesn't give away free stuff but she likes me and she just suggested one day to make my mascot and I'm like uh sure if you want oh she kept giving me like like previews and stuff and I thought it was adorable originally she had like a parakeet sitting on the laptop on the full version and she goes that she'll probably add like parakeets later like every so often I'll like redo the banner to where there's like parakeets all over the mascot which I think would be adorable um so maybe look forward to that in the coming months or something I guess um but thanks for watching um uh, hope you like the new setup uh the new banner and everything and uh hope you enjoyed me what enjoyed watching me open this box of Zelda stuff and showed everything that I bought at the Daiso so have a good day, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.